two, the gases. This includes compressed, liquefied, or frozen gases, and those which are dissolved under pressure, as well as mixtures of gases and aerosols. Gases can be transported in pressurized containers. This container is filled with 300 grams of a non-flammable gas, carbon dioxide. If the container or seal is damaged, the effect is similar to a gunshot in the hold of an aircraft. Spray cans are also pressurized containers and can burst if they are exposed to high temperatures or a drop in air pressure. That's why pressurized containers must never be heated or damaged. The various class two labels, apart from showing the general pressure risk, also indicate additional properties. This red label indicates flammable gases of the division 2.1. Here is a demonstration with hairspray. Besides, when gases and air are mixed in the right proportion, this can lead to an explosion. This balloon is filled with a mixture of gas and oxygen. You can imagine the effect in the hold of an aircraft. The green label stands for non-flammable, non-poisonous gases of division 2.2. They can have either an oxidizing or asphyxiating effect. These gases can be extremely cold. Liquid nitrogen, for example, can be as cold as minus 192 degrees Celsius. A rose dipped into it freezes within seconds. and shatters like glass. These gases are heavier than air. They displace the oxygen and make breathing impossible. We now come to the gases which are also poisonous. They belong to division 2.3. Poisonous gases spread very quickly. If inhaled, they can cause serious health problems or even death, not normally allowed to be transported on passenger aircraft. Let's summarize the facts. Class II gases are often transported in pressurized containers. These containers can burst. Depending on their other properties, these gases can be flammable, produce low temperatures, displace air,